This is a tree. Yeah, it's a tree. And this is an avocado. <laughs> I like trees. These are, are good. So what am I trying to say? Well, I really don't know. Um, what I am trying to say though is my experience on veganism and what it did for me, to me, um, how that experience went. Um, being vegan for four years, uh, I thought that being vegan would help me and some of the hormonal problems that I was having at the time. This was about seven, like eight years ago. Um, and I thought it was uh, great. I thought it was going to heal um, some of the issues that I had. I was um, going through a lot of shits and just felt like it wasn't really optimal. Um, and that's what I feel like a lot of other, um, or even a lot of people, feel like and maybe you know it's their diet um that was my sort of thinking when i became vegan so being vegan like i was actually a hardcore vegan at the time i was uh not eating any dairy products no animal products whatsoever and i didn't have those cheat days i guess you could say where you uh eat animal products on the weekends um I was not having any animal products at all in my food for an entire four years. And I did do blood work after that experience, which it was not good. Um, I should have done blood work before that time, but I just didn't at the time and I wanted to enhance my life, I wanted to feel better, I wanted to just be um, fucking healthy. Just like, I'm pretty sure everyone wants to be healthy and that should be your goal. But the diet just didn't work for me. Um, I'm not saying that it doesn't work for you. If you are a vegan, that's great. If it works for you, continue doing it. But being vegan for me put me in a state of hypothyroidism where I was not getting enough iodine and salt. Um, to fix that, I tried to add in salt in my diet and add in iodine supplementation in my diet. And um, for some reason that just didn't work. Um, I was still, I was feeling like a little bit better, but um, I wanted the vegan diet to work, but unfortunately it didn't for me. And as soon as I started eating meat, um, again, my first meal was salmon, and that was probably a horrible idea. If you're thinking about transitioning from being vegan back to eating meat, I would not recommend salmon because I almost threw up at the time. Um, but it took a little bit of adjusting for my body to um, digest animal protein and animal sources again. It was after about a month um, that I started to feel different. Um, and different by that I mean feeling a whole lot more energy. I felt like I was regaining the nutrients that I lost and being less deficient in things. I know that there's a lot of good arguments for veganism, but in my opinion, I don't think veganism is healthy in any way, shape or form. Um, now, if you are vegan, that's totally okay. Uh, like I said earlier, if it works for you, it works for you. Um, for the majority of people though, I don't think it's going to work. Um, eating animal products has more than just B12 in it. It's more than, um, more than having just B12, salt, and iodine. There's a whole lot more to that that animal products have. Now, I don't have any science sources that I could um, Re, I don't have any science sources that I can uh, give you guys right now, but if you want me to do another video in the future, I'd totally, totally be cool with doing that with you guys, for you guys. Um, so yeah, uh, being a vegan, it worked for about a 
couple months, I would say. Um, if you're gonna do veganism, I would say only do it for a couple weeks, if not maybe a max of three months, because at that point then you're losing, um, being vegan for that short period of time, it's going to not really harm your body, it will actually help it. Um, and by detoxifying a lot of the things that are found in animal products, because obviously like there is some negatives of eating animal products just long term, you don't want to continue just being plant-based and you're gonna miss out on um, other things besides vitamins, besides the minerals that you're losing from um, not eating meat. And that's pretty much what I experienced. Um, I don't know what it is, but there was just a huge change in my mental state, a huge change in my energy levels, and my strength was going up. Um, I hit a point where I was training, like kind of bodybuilding, um, and that sort of lifestyle, um, I still continue to do that, and I encourage people to live their healthiest lifestyle, um, whatever that may be. Um, my recommendation is to at least have some animal products in it, or have half animal products and half vegan plant-based products. Um, you do need both, in my opinion. Um, I do have a degree in nutritional science, and not that that matters at all, but I've done quite a bit of research on the topic and on what the body digests, what the body needs. Um, and it's, there's no like specific diet that uh, is for everyone. You gotta find the diet and the nutrition plan that works for you. Some people like keto, some people like fasting, intermittent fasting, some people like just eating throughout all hours of the day. Um, I find a lot of benefits to uh, fasting at certain times of the day, um, like eating carbs after my workout, for example, puts me with a lot of brain fog. And I'm not sure how common that is, but um, like I'm pretty much keto for half of the day. And then as I get all my work done, um, cause I need my brain power to do that. Um, obviously to edit videos like this one. Um, the not eating carbs for the majority of the day works for me. So you gotta find what works for you. Um, I love talking about nutrition. I love talking about being as healthy as you possibly can be. Uh, you definitely should be lifting weights. You definitely should be doing resistance training of some sort. Um, and doing walking and cardio. It's good for your heart and you should be supplementing with all of the vitamins and nutrients that you may not get from your regular diet. Um, there's multiple studies that Harvard and other really uh, uh, high level credential uh, sources have put out over the years, the last 50 years, and it all suggests that the best nutrition plan and the best diet is a balanced nutrition plan and a balanced diet with all of the foods with not like packaged foods but every single vegetable rotating those every single fruits uh fruit ro rotating those and having as much uh, variety in your diet as possible. So then you're less likely to become deficient and in a nutrient. When I was hypothyroidic, being vegan, um, there's more than just salt and iodine I was deficient in. I just didn't want to believe it at the time. And it was definitely a learning experience. Um, it's taken me probably a year after eating meat to feel back to normal again. Um, now four years is quite a long time to be vegan, but in my opinion, I would not recommend it. Um, but just wanted to share that with you guys, share that experience. Um, I love helping people out. I love giving people as much advice and 
um, science-based knowledge as possible. And if you guys like this video, give it a like, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Um, yeah, uh, go eat some good food.